So the intro for Stockholm Syndrome, we'll start with this. <coughs> Okay, so that's uh, intro A there then, and uh, all we're doing, power chords, index finger, onto fret 2, so you're covering string 4 and 5, don't cover string 6 because we're playing that open, down and up 4 times, so down, up, down, up. Okay, and as soon as you've played it, take the side of your hand there, and just lay that down on the strings to stop it from ringing out, so. Okay, and then from there. Uh, move your index finger to fret 3, string 5, ring finger, fret 5, string number 4, your little finger, fret 5, string number 3, same thing. Da -da -da -da. Okay, then up a string, and then go back to that shape on fret 2, but this time just move it down a string, okay? So you're covering string 3 and 4, and not touching string 5, okay? And Okay, so that's the intro there so okay so that's the first intro there then uh, the next part is going to be intro B if you look at the tab uh, it's exactly the same to start with if you look at the tab now though the end of it just goes okay so after you've played all the four Okay, you know, it just does that at the end, okay? So that's uh, intro B there then. And then the back into that, there's another guitar that goes. Okay, and then. It plays that. So if you look at the tab, uh, the first part is your uh, middle finger on fret 7, string 3. You're going to play that, and then take your finger off open, and then play that four times. And then what you're going to do is put your index finger to fret 4, string 3, and play that. So, you know, even though we're, like, we're just playing 6 notes, th th there is a bit of a timing to it, and it'll sound like this then. Okay, so it's like... Duh -duh. And then... Do, do. Okay? So that's the first part. If you look at the tab now, we're going to uh, get our index finger, and lay it across fret 12 so you make sure that you're covering at least strings 2, 3 and 4 you're going to pick, I'm going to pick string 3 twice and then string 4 and then string 2 and just you can let all the notes ring together so okay and if you look at the tab we're going to do that three times then if you look at the tab again just update it and we just do it one final time okay so this part you know we're going to do that four times and like I say, um, you know, for intro B, there's two guitar parts. So if you look beneath the video, the full tab, you know, you'll see um, intro B guitar one and intro, and you'll see intro, you'll see intro B guitar one and then intro B guitar two. So it's up to you which part you play. Okay. So verse A. Now it's the last uh, thing left on my mind. They sing that. It's going to sound like this. <laughs> So uh, to play this then, it's going to be your index finger on fret 2, so you're covering strings 4 and 5, don't cover string 6 because that's going to be open, down and up 16 times, okay, from there then, index finger, fret 3, string 5, ring finger, fret 5, string 4, little finger, fret 5, string 3, 16 times, okay, and then now, Slide your index finger down to fret 2, string 5, and then put your middle finger onto fret 3, string 6. Going to play those two, as well as string 4 open, so make sure your index finger is not muting um, you know, the string behind it, okay? So make sure you're not muting string 4. Do that 16 yeah. times. Okay, and then back to that first uh, position we went to on fret 2, and just move it down a string this time. And then 
If you look at the tab as well, we're just going to play eight times. Okay, and then from there, this is that awkward kind of sounding chord. And it's uh, your index finger onto fret two, string six, your middle finger onto fret two, string number four. And you need to make sure that the middle string, string five, is open, okay, and eight times. Okay, so that's verse A there. Then, you know, put all that together, that's going to be verse A. Uh, verse B is going to start off the same, so with the. Okay, and that's where I think uh, they go, where do we go? Life's temporary. And um, look at the tab now. It's updated again, but it's going to start off with. Okay, then go to that shape on fret 2. The only difference is, instead of playing that awkward uh, chord shape, we're just going to go back to that shape on frets 3 and 5, like that, and play that 8 times. Okay, so that's just the differences there between verse A and B. And like I say, you know, when you see the uh, like big tab, uh, the complete tab below the video, you'll uh, see you know, you'll see the differences for yourself, okay? Interlude A, we're going to be using some octaves. It's going to sound like this. Okay, so you play it once, pause for a second and play it again. It's going to be your index finger on fret. 3 string number 6 your ring finger on fret 5 string number 4 what you're going to have to do is lay your index finger down slightly like this so that the bottom part there is going to be resting on the string in the middle which is string 5 so you're muting that string ok and then we're going to play this 5 times then go down to 2 and 4 play it 3 times back up to 3 and 5 and play 8 all downwards so Okay, then you pause a second and do it again. Okay, so that's interlude A. So interlude B will sound like this then. Okay, so the end part's the same, it's just the start that's different. And uh, it's quite it's quite easy to play again, it's just octaves, but it can be a little bit difficult to get the timing, so I'll basically just sort of show you the notes to play, you know, listen to me playing it and listen to the song to get the timing right, okay? So um, I'm going to start off in that same position, 3 and 5, so index finger, fret 3, string 6, ring finger, fret 5, string 4, and mute, string 5 in the middle. We're going to play this uh, twice, like, okay, then go up to 5 and 7, twice, and then up to 7 and 9 and play that twice. So, okay, from there then, go down to 3 and 5, down to 2 and 4, and back up to 3 and 5. So in total, okay, do 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 Okay, so that's the first part. Look at the last part of the tab, it's exactly the same as interlude A, so... Okay, so quite simple really, it is just getting the timing right, okay? So uh, again, you know, from the start... Okay, so that's interlude A and B there then. Alright, so the breakdown, I think that's where Mark starts singing uh, I'm so lost, I'm barely here. It's going to sound something like this then. Okay, so really heavy palm muting through the entire thing there then. All down strokes, just one finger all the time. And that finger is your index finger. It's going to start on fret 7. I'm going to play this 8 times and palm muted so that part of your hand rested on the strings okay so eight times then if you look at the tab we're gonna do it uh, we're gonna do it five more and then you can just move it up to fret eight play that twice back down to fret seven and just play that once so okay so so far okay 
From there then, just go back up to fret 8, play that 16 times. Okay, down to fret 7, 16 times. Then down to fret 5, 8 times. And then down to fret 3, 8 times. Okay, so that's the first breakdown. So... And then for the second breakdown, breakdown B, if you look at the tab, it's going to start off uh, exactly the same. If you take a look at the tab now, uh, it's a little bit different at the end. It does the, oh, it comes in from the 7, so. Instead of playing that 16 times, so, it's just going to play 8 times. Then go down to fret 5, play that 8 times. And then go down to fret 3 and play that once, but don't mute it, so. Okay, you know, you just let that ring out. So that's the only difference for breakdown B. And when you see like the complete tab, you know, you'll you'll you'll, you'll understand what I mean. And then also, there's another guitar, guitar two, which is going to be playing this in the background. Then, Okay, so just some simple uh, little, you know, single notes, and I know on its own it doesn't particularly sound uh, very nice, but you know when you're playing it along to the song, it sounds great. So it's going to be all on string um, one and two. So string one open, and then your little finger onto fret five, string number one, then index finger onto fret three. So okay, from there then it's your index finger. Onto fret one, string two. Then middle finger, fret two, string one. Ring finger, fret three, string one. So, okay, if you look at the tab, just gonna do that twice and uh, you know, just listen to the song to get the timing right. So, okay. And uh, the second part, then if you look at the tab now, starts off the same. Okay, and then the next part, the little finger, back onto fret 5, string 1. And then index finger, right down to fret 2, string 1. Okay, so. Okay, and then from there then, uh, what we're going to do is back up to fret 5 with your little finger. Fret 2 on your index. And then your middle onto fret three. So okay, if you look at the tab, you know I've played that part twice. Okay, so that's the breakdown there for uh, both guitars one and you know guitars two. So it's up to you which part you want to play. All right. So the chorus, uh, you're cold with disappointment. That's what they sing, and it starts sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, so that's a chorus. Index finger, fret 2, string number 5. Ring finger, fret 4, string 4. Little finger, fret 4, string 3. Going to go uh, 8 times. Okay, then 5 more. Slide it up to 3 and 5, and then twice. And then go back down to 2 and 4, and play that once. So. Okay, so it's kind of like we did with the... We've got the muted part, okay? So from the start. Alright. And then back up to 3 and 5. Going to play that 16 times. And that's a bit of a tricky switch here. What we're going to do is put your index finger onto fret 2, string 5. Your ring finger onto fret 4, string 3. And then stretch over with your little finger onto fret 5, string number 4, okay, and 16 times. Alright, and um, I think one, like, the easiest thing to do with that is, coming from this chord shape, what I tend to do is move my index finger down and put my little finger up a string, and then once I'm in that position, 
then that's when I'll take my ring finger and put that on uh, string number three, okay? So from that to that, yep. And uh, from there then, I'm going to be an octave shape. So your index finger onto fret five, string six. Your ring finger, fret seven, string four. You have to mute string five, okay? And eight times, and then down two frets to three and five, and play that eight times, so. Okay, so together. Okay, so that's a chorus there then. And I think after the chorus, it goes back into the verse a few times, and then it finally comes to the end of the song, and to end the song, it's playing string six, open, index finger, fret two, string five, little finger on fret five, string four. <laughs> Okay, so that's the full lesson there then for Stockholm uh, Syndrome by Blink-182 off their self-titled album. Hope you've enjoyed the lesson. There's quite a lot for you to you know, get practicing on and quite a lot of different techniques that you're going to be uh, you know, able to work on, like your palm muting, your octaves, your power chords, you know, different uh, strumming patterns, that kind of thing. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I you know, hope you have fun you know, playing along to the song. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.